All right, let's move on. The Army Black Knights. Oh, yeah. 11-2 and two last year. Seven starters back on offense, four back on defense. As far as experience goes, number 65 nationally. Head coach Jeff Munkin, 35-26 and 26 in five years. Uh, he learned the triple from Paul Johnson when they were both at Georgia Southern. I mean, that's how far back this thing goes. He has perfected this. Offensive coordinator uh, Brent Davis starts his sixth season with quarterback Kelvin Hopkins Jr. and six other starters back from the number 35 scoring offense in the country. You remember they hung 70 on Houston. I know. At the end, I, rem- which, I, rem- I remember that Which game. was part of why, like, I, first off, I had the under in that game. I know. I remember I just, that, I too. I just could not believe it. I remember it, that, too. Uh, defense coordinator <laughs> Jay Bateman left for North Carolina after he uh, he had a massive season last year. Enjoy. Now, again, some of this has to do with the fact that they have the triple. Uh, Army had the most time of possession in the country last year. I think it was uh, 38 minutes. Um Let's see if I put it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 38 minutes and 33 seconds a game yeah. that they held on the football. That is absurd. That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. That is that is really unbelievable. But but it did help out the defense, right? Oh, yeah. Number 10 scoring defense, number 10 rushing defense, number 8 total defense. But now he's with Mac Brown, uh, new defensive coordinator John Luce. He only returns 54% of the total tackles um, and a whole new starting defensive line. But a lot of upperclassmen here. This is a good thing. It's it's guys that rotated in. They may have lost starters, but they get a whole lot of guys back. They got three out of four back in the they secondary. They still have plenty of playing time. Yes, and the schedule that sets up. That's what I think it, about when I watch this. Is yes. I, I like the way this team is put together. I like the coaching staff. I like a lot about them. And then I look at the I look at the schedule, and I just think if they beat Michigan, th- there aren't any losses here. This thing. If if they beat Michigan in week two. We could see a very interesting scenario where, remember, they do the college football playoff stuff in the New Year's Six games and whatnot. They announce all of that the week before the Army-Navy game. That's right. We have not had a situation where one of those teams where one of those, would be in consideration. Right. And, and so they, they would have to grab an at-large spot. So they got to be ranked like in the top eight, really, because it, they're not a group of five school. And... It's worded so that a group of five champion has to take that. So the AAC could still get somebody in, and Army could find a way to be. It, that's if they beat Michigan on the road. But we're just two. talking about New Year's Six Bowls. Yeah, they just New Year's, but they, still, they would have to grab one of the at largest. Even which means you might knock before. out somebody like Ohio State or like Alabama or Georgia or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's going to take a lot to do that. Uh, but this is the way that the schedule breaks down, and we'll we'll run through it really quick so we don't take too long, but. Rice at Michigan, at UT San Antonio, Morgan State, Tulane, at Western Kentucky, at Georgia State, San Jose State, at Air Force, UMass, VMI, at Hawaii, and at Navy. They could absolutely lose the at Air Force game. Yeah, and they could lose at Navy. But neither one of us have that. They, they, uh, could, they could feasibly lose at I think they could realistically at lose at Air Force. I would be shocked if they lose at Navy. I mean, so would I, but it's it's not out of the question. True, like I mean, losing at Hawaii wouldn't be out of the question either. But other than that, I mean, really, you, the the Michigan game we both assume they lost. So we both have them eleven and one, right? Or twelve and twelve one, and one because of thirteen game. Yeah, we, we, I mean, we're we're we got, yeah, I got them twelve and one. We think they might possibly lose to one of these other teams, but we can't really see it. Yeah, I, I just I'm not. I don't. I see mean, it. this schedule is. Pretty soft outside of Michigan. Yeah, it's 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 pretty ridiculous, man. I'm I'm not gonna lie. This is. I want to see them put up numbers, and they gonna put up a whole. I want to see them put up numbers. I think it's fun. I usually triple option games are that they can be really boring. They're either gonna, but here's the thing: they're either usually really boring, or they're really exciting. And there's kind of never one of those. Oh, they were fun for two quarters, but the other two quarters they just killed the clock. Like that's not how it seems to work out. No, you're right. Oh, we're beating the hell out of Houston. It's okay. We're hanging seventy. Yeah, and hey, that's that's what they do. We're trying to get eighty. They don't have a problem with that. All right. They don't have a problem.